Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with my new tutorial for you guys exclusively on CG Tutors Plus. And this time before I start the tutorial, I would like to thank another CG Tutors author, Christian Pop, whose tutorial inspired me to make my this tutorial. Christian has shown here how to make procedural snow in 3ds Max using a uh, uh, PF source and uh, a plugin P wrapper. This is indeed a very good tutorial, but in my tutorial, I have used another technique uh, while creating such kind of snow, and uh, this technique is based on traditional modeling. You can see the output result here, uh, what I have made in my own way. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you how I made this effect and it could be very useful for you because um, in this method you have full control on your scene and hence you can uh, get your desired result so let's start and uh, first of all uh, I reset the scene and then I take a cylinder and make a pipe kind of thing let's increase its height a bit more um, increase uh, the height segments too fine now uh, let's make a snow uh, on its surface first of all uh, I reduce the sides segments and now I convert it into editable poly Now being in the polygon mode, I select one of the top faces and then with pressing shift, I click here and the whole line gets selected. And then I press control and click here to select this polygon and again control click to select this face and finally press shift and click any of the faces in between to select the whole line. <laughs> I think we should select these faces too it's fine now with the faces selected click on detach right here snow and then click on detach as clone now you will see that there are two meshes here first one is the detached mesh as a snow and the second one is the main cylinder now pick the detached mesh and maybe you can uh, rotate it a bit for uh, perfect symmetry. That's fine. Now um, apply the shell modifier onto the snow mesh and uh, increase its uh, outer mount to something like this. This makes it uh, thick. Now increase the segments two is fine once done then uh, collapse them all and uh, once again convert it into editable poly now click on tessellate and uh, make it more dense something like this okay now it's time to do paint modeling so go down in the bottom and uh, here you will find paint deformation so open this here you will find push and pull select this and start painting on the mesh this bumps the mesh I think pull value is quite high so I undo the strokes and uh, decrease the pull value and now it gives me perfect result you must have done zbrush or mud box this is just like that you don't have to go to those software you can do the same thing here in 3ds max not that much perfect but uh, you will be able to do such kind of task here easily at some places you may feel the bump 
too high so you can relax that too select the relax tool and increase the brush size and start smoothing some bumps maybe you have to repeat the process of push and pull and relaxing the mesh for a couple of times to get the desired look I think um, it looks great once done make it off go to modify list and apply turbo smooth modifier onto this and it makes it smooth now that looks fine 